So we're here today in Tewkesbury at the Quick Grind Technology Centre. Fascinating facility and a great demo. Can you tell us a little bit about it, please? Yeah, so today we're machining uh, aluminium 6082 on a replica, typical replica part for uh, motorsport, which would be a upright that would sit within the front wheel. And if we move on straight away to the tooling, what, what tooling are we seeing on this part? We've got uh, a lot of new tooling on this one. We have three fluter uh, chip breaker Caymans for roughing out. We've got five fluter uh, Caymans for finishing, and we have four different types of barrel tool uh, offering surface finishes, crevice finishing, uh, all to show uh, huge time savings over where you're using a barrel tool instead of a bullnose. So if we start with the Caymans, the ones with the chip breakers, what are the advantages of a chip breaker? Oh, well, the, when you're the advantages of a chip breaker are is the smaller chips in essence. Sometimes when you're machining aluminium, you can have 30, 40 mil length of cut, a length of swarf. Um, the chip break obviously breaks it down into 8, 10, 12 millimeter sizes. So external profiling is not too much of a problem, it falls away. But when you're pocketing, you need to get the swarf out. And the fact that obviously we're cutting in air today as well for the demonstration purposes, you need the chip breaker on to ev evac the swarf from the pockets. Yes, the center of the benefits, absolutely swarf evacuation, but if chips are thinner, quite often you can push the cutting data also, can't you? That's right, yeah. We are running the tooling data up to just shy of 8,000 millimetres per minute. Um, obviously, when it's cutting in the pocket, the, the machine feed rate don't ever really get to that, that, uh, that level, but um, it machines it on the outside profile and we just try and keep the, the pocket machining as high as we can do. Yeah, if we move on to the barrel milling, to look at, you might not think there's a lot of barrel milling on there, but it's, it's quite a lot of complex 3D forms that you don't always see by the naked eye, do you? But just talk us through some of the, the barrel mill solutions you've put on this demo. Okay, so yeah, the barrel tool milling on, on, the, on the demo is the main top spherical face where we're machining with two different types of barrel tool. We're using a roughing barrel tool 16mm with an extremely large radius, 1500mm radius. Uh, and that's, that's doing a roughing out cut and then we're doing finishing cuts with a 12mm barrel tool doing a step over of 2.5mm. Uh, this would be comparable to a bull nose of about 0.2mm and we, we're finding a, about an 80% cycle time saving using the barrel tool instead of the bull nose. You talk about an 80% saving, what does that mean in real time? Yeah, so when we, when we program this, this top face with a, the spherical face with the barrel tool, We've done simulations as well with the bull nose. Now if we use a, a 12mm barrel tool versus a 12mm bull nose, so we're trying to keep comparisons the same. The step over on the bull nose would be around about 0.2mm, fairly industry standard for obtaining a, a nice finish on a, on, a, on a surface component. With the barrel tool, however, we can step up to 2.5mm and more, depending on the surface of the job. This has got a double curvature and it's quite a gentle blend but we're running this at two and a half, two and a half millimetre step down, giving us a cycle time just shy of two minutes. The same cycle, same face coming with a 12 millimetre bull nose is just under 10 minutes. So we are seeing a significant 80% cycle time reduction in, in one feature. Again, you know, barrel mills, they're not new to me and you. We've talked about them for probably three or four years now, but a lot of people watching this still don't, um, still don't use barrel mills, do they? Um, what are the big advantages? We talk about the cycle time saving and you know, obviously the, the step downs, but you would expe you, you'd expect to experience a poor surface finish, wouldn't you? You know, going from 0.2 to maybe 2, 3, 4, 6 mil step downs, but you don't. No, and it's the way that the, uh, the, the, the CAM packages and the technology use the barrel tools and obviously we, we only run the code that we get from the post-processor. But it's, when you, you, get, you just get so many more benefits from using the barrel tool. So for instance, when you're roughing out with a barrel tool, you still get left with a smooth surface, opposed to with a bull nose. So if you're following it with another tool behind it, if you can machine over a smooth surface, you're gonna get a better result on the finishing pass than you will on a rough surface that you get with a bull nose. So time savings, programmability, now the cam packages are getting a lot more evolved now and offering a lot more solutions. So whereas on a bull nose it's usually click a face, calculate, tool path, away you go. The barrel tool milling started to come out, you had a bit of manipulation on the surfaces, but that's now getting a lot easier as well. So it is pretty much open the box, click on the face, there's your tool path, and you're running your machine in minutes. So John, when we look at some of that detailed work, it's exactly that, isn't it? Small diameter, high detail. Uh, what, what tools are those? Yeah, we're using Caymans again. Uh, we do two off, we offer two ranges of tools for aluminium at the quick line. One is an alligator, which is a two flute, and the Cayman is a three flute. 
Uh, alligators more for your two flute roughing, your, your full slotting, that kind of thing. But on there we've got caimans from 1.5mm up to 16mm, so we can cover all eventualities, the heavy roughing, get the swarf away, get the chips out, and uh, obviously then we've got the, the very small tools for picking up the fine detail in the, in the small corner pockets. So for engineers watching this and they want to learn more, maybe they don't have the software or maybe even the know-how initially, I know you can help there as well. Yeah, we can offer a full consult consultancy uh, to any, any, any of our clients, our current clients that we have at the moment. Uh, any future people want to want to get involved with Quickline, uh, we'll, we'll come to your place of work, we'll evaluate what you do, we'll make suggestions and potential time savings uh, and then we can even, if you'd like us to, we'll come up to your factory and we'll program the job and put the tools on the job for you and uh, give you 100% faith in uh, what Quickline can offer.